Well, Professor, is there something else we didn't ask that we would like to point out or something? Uh, for yeah, I, I think you started. The, I think you started the, the 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 session by pointing out that very few Brazilians invest in the equity market, True. and in that you need, there are two things that you have to remember. One is to invest, you need savings. To have savings, your income has to exceed your expenses. I mean, starting saving the obvious. Mm -hmm. 80% of Brazilians probably don't even have the option of investing because they live day to day, week to week, month to month. I'd say the same thing about Indians, 80%. Mm -hmm. The question is the remaining 50 to 20% is still a pretty substantial number. Why mm -hmm. are more of them investing in equities? For a couple of reasons. One is um, they think the game is fixed. A lot of them. They believe that equity markets are run by insiders who basically have information they get and they don't share with the market. And guess what? In Brazil, it's not a bad assumption if you're an outside investor that the game is not a fair game, that there are some insiders who have access. I mean, that's why it's, I think I'm not a great fan of government regulation and laws, but I think it's good to have insider trading laws that are enforced because it makes the game fair. It makes people more willing to play the game. The second is you need to develop an equity culture, and that takes a long time. You know what an equity culture means? It basically means that when you invest money, you got to be willing to lose money. If you're trained to believe that your principal is always going to be safe, that if you invest $100, you will get at least $100 back, and the only thing you're uncertain about is whether you make 2% or 15%, you can never invest in equities. you got to be okay opening up your brokerage account and seeing that your portfolio is down 10%. And that's easier said than done. When people, when you talk about this with people, they say, I'm okay with that. But that first statement that they get scares them so much that they don't want to do it again. And equity culture means people who take risks have to recognize that they will lose money sometimes. And they will lose a lot of money sometimes. And they should be okay with it. Last week when I bought Uber and I sold short and beyond meat, I said, look, I might lose a lot of money on these. And you will point it out to me if I do lose money, the people are reading my blog post. But you know what? I'm okay with losing money. The nature of risk is sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. You want to win more than you lose. And you want your overall portfolio to go up. But if you say, look, I don't want to ever lose money, you can never invest in equities. And that requires people to go through an equity cycle where they invest in equities, lose money, stay in equities, and see that it comes back for that culture to get embedded. In the US, that culture has been around since before the Great Depression. In fact, after the Great Depression, people even in the US started to pull away from the equity culture. But it's a deeply embedded culture because it's been around. People know that their equity part of the portfolio can drop. And they know that if they're in for the long term, odds are it'll come back up again. But that takes a long time. And you know what else it requires? You have to have governments that don't step in and protect you from your own mistakes. You know, it's a, and it's, it's a problem in the Middle East. People, you know, when I talked to Saudi Arabia, somebody in the Saudi Arabian government, they said, we have to train, we, have, we want an equity culture in Saudi Arabia. And I said, if you want an equity culture in Saudi Arabia, stop bailing out investors every time the equity market drops. Because when the equity market drops, the Saudi government actually steps in and provides price support. So that investors don't lose more money. That's not a way to do an equity culture. You got to let people live. It's, it sounds cruel, but even middle class investors, if they take their money and put it in one stock and they lose it all, you got to say, you know what? That was terrible. I feel, you know, I feel awful. And you might feel awful, but you can't step in and say, well, we're going to give you 50% of your money back because this was your entire savings. You got to let people live with the consequence of their mistakes, which means you can't act like a, like a parent. These are not kids. They're grown-ups making investment decisions. Let them live with the consequences. 